Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Dredge. As you guys know, we started a brand new series being uh, Dredge last episode, and we got, you know, we made a decent amount of progress. We got through the Greater Marrows. However, today, I am hoping to be able to explore more of this game and perhaps be able to unravel some of the secrets beneath what is lurking in the waters. So if you do enjoy the content, if you wanna see episode three, please do consider liking the video, subscribing, and joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. But without further ado, let's not waste any time and continue dredging. Is it a verb? Is that how you use it? Dredging? Whatever, I'm, okay, let's start. So uh, as you guys can see, it is Monday, day 29. I did do a little bit of off stream grinding for this game. I didn't progress anything in the story, of course, but I did take the opportunity to, if we check the dry dock, I just got all these upgrades. I finished them. And then I also did a little bit of upgrading to our ship. So if you take a look, I did manage to get the hydraulic rod. This one allows us to catch in the ocean. I also got two of these refined outboard engines. So it just, you know, gives us some extra speed here. On the left, you can't really see that much, but uh, just a couple of resources that I've been gathering. So I think we are pretty much much done with you know everything that greater marrow has to offer and i think it might be time for us to head to gale cliffs the next area that the uh collector wanted us to go towards so we've explored this area i've pretty much done everything there but the next spot we have to head to is none other than gale cliff and it is currently 150 i think we'll have time to do it i think we'll have time to get there let us make our way down. I think that is uh, south. Hopefully we can make it there before it gets too dark, but I think it's quite, it's literally just past this. I think I see it off in the distance, actually. Honestly, should we explore some of these other islands while we're here? Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There is something in the waters here. Oh God, the all seeing cod. Yeah, that's something. All right. Okay. Anything here for me to see? Oh boy, it's gonna be... Oh, uh, we should have set out earlier. <laughs> it's a little too dark now, but I just want to take a look here. What is this? Yo? You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper. Hey, yo? Huh? A shape sewn at the top. It's a blue mackerel. Oh, they want a blue mackerel? What the? Uh, shoot. What do we do? How far are we? Okay. I think we just take shelter at Blackstone Isle tonight, right? Should we give him his mackerel? That's a little creepy. I can't, I can't lie. It's a little disturbing. <laughs> Oh, is this mackerel? Oh. Oh, I can't even see it. Uh, this looks like squid. Okay, no, it's not. Yeah, let's just head back. It's getting a little too dark here. We'll dock for the night and then... Oh, what's this? Oh, the stone hums quietly. Interesting. Oh, oh! Hey, yo! Who is that? It's the thing that chased us, right? It's turning back. Oh, whoa, what was that? Is he coming here? There's another black grouper spot there. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, I'm gonna dock here for the night before we run into anything else too unexpected, but boy. Okay, let's see if we can catch some of the fish for him. He wants blue mackerel, I believe. I see cod, flounder, blue mackerel right there. Okay, actually, is there a better, I see, oh shoot, where did it go? Cod, oh wait, was it there? Blue mackerel right there. Yes, okay. There's the blue mackerel. There's also something else here though. Let's see if we can catch it. Trophy fish, there it is. Boom. Nice. Oh, wait, there's more here, actually. We didn't even catch everything. Although, I'm going to deplete the stock. <laughs> uh, well, 
guess that's it. Let's give this guy his fish. See what uh, he's going to give us in return, maybe. The hunger. Okay. Take the mackerel. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More. Still empty. They point to another shape of a tiger mackerel? We've never seen that before. Wait, what is a tiger mackerel? Oh no, we haven't caught- Oh, it's here. Uh, it's Gale Cliffs. Okay. I suppose we should come back after catching a tiger mackerel for him. Let's make haste. We should head over to Gale Cliff now. Oh, shipwreck. Maybe there's something here for us. Look inside. Ooh. Ooh, bag of doubloons. Okay, I'm actually going to discard some of this fish. Just because we do need to make a little bit of space, but... I kind of want the bolt of cloth, too. Okay. Do that. And then... Oh, I think I see a settlement there. That must be it. Ooh, is this a new fish? What's that sound? Oh, yo! A whale! Oh my gosh. This is... Ooh! It's like a spearfish or something. Okay, let's dock here to our new destination. Oh. Looks like we're here. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There's a bottle. What did we get there? Uh, Michael Schultz, Gale Cliff. Uh, looks like an artifact manifest. Some music box, wooden mask, 12 piece tea set, and a jar of earth. Oh, whoa, what is this? It's like a tornado? <laughs> Wait, is this gonna do damage to me? I'm not gonna risk it. Let's dock first. All right, just in time. Oh, Ingfell? Wait, where is this? This is, uh, not where I thought we were. Unless this is just another name for Gale Cliffs. Oh, I guess this isn't actually... Oh, okay. We still need to go a little more inland, but it's fine. Uh, we can talk to the resident here. Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we considered aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared properly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Oh, God. A little bit gross. <laughs> Where can I sell my fish? We don't have much need for buying any. There's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything and does repairs too. Okay. That's probably who we're going to need to be talking to. And then... Odd characters around these parts? McGran, he's an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. McGran, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to the scroll he found. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him McGran the Fisherman. One day, the town awoken to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed, and he was nowhere to be found nor seen since then. Interesting. Hmm. The cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There were certainly a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed. Oh boy. Well, seems like we'll have to make it a little bit more across the bay here, so. Honestly, I think we have time. It's 5.30. I'm assuming she's probably over here. I hope I'll be able to dock here too. Okay, seems like this is it. Let's see what this has. Oh, there it goes. Traveling merchant. A traveler and a merchant all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them. Okay. And equipment as well. Okay. Nice. We can trade with her. $37? That's a scam! What? Oh my 
God, are you kidding me? Wait, I have two trophy fish and she's buying, oh my God. Oh, fine, fine. I don't want them to spoil, so whatever. I'll sell them. I'm at the photographer. She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. Loaded up with fancy camera equipment. Hmm. I wish I had my own camera. Oh. Uh, so you're setting up on a small one south of the Marrows. Okay. Uh, maybe we can get our stuff repaired too. Okay, nice. Good as new. And then we can... Oh, dry docks. Here we go. Ooh. I'm missing the refined metal. You think she sells any refined metal? Okay, it doesn't seem like she... Oh, 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 here. 500? 500 dollars for refined metal. Bro. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's just one fish. It's just one extra fish. And we can upgrade our hole with it too, so... I feel like it's worth it. Ew. Black sea... Oh, wait, no. This is, this is a regular fish. Okay. There we go. seeing things oh my god creepy we'll just sell this fish i suppose we will be scammed and purchase the refined metal and you can only sell it for a hundred oh my gosh we have our new hole i need 500 more dollars to purchase this upgrade i hate i hate it here i hate it here okay I'm just gonna rest. And while we're in the area, let's just uh, throw out our crap pots because why not, right? So what we need to cat or what we need now is, I think first thing is either get a conger eel or a tiger mackerel. And I wanna deliver these just to get these quests out of the way. But we definitely need to look at some of the other things around the area too. So I'm assuming this is the conger eel and then tiger mackerel will be coastal as well. So I think we should be able to find some of them here. Oh. That's a new type of cod. Oh my god, what is up with these tornadoes, though? Okay. A uh, black ma- oh, it's a salmon. Okay, it's not exactly what we need, but <laughs> it's a new type of fish, which is good to have. Ooh, is this a new port? Oh, there's a shipwreck here. What is this? An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, ah, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it you need? Ooh, uh, this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Hey, I've been stubbornly holding stub, 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 stubbornly holding out here for so, quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Oh, is that the fisherman? Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After, after the collapse, that creature, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Okay. Interesting. And then, do you know how I could clear the debris around here? You'd probably need some explosives to shift the rocks. My brother at Ingfil used to make explosives for the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff, but with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? You don't know of any shipwrecks around here. Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. At low tide, I can still see what's left of its masthead poking through the waves. Uh, what hap what's happening to these cliffs? Mm. They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. 
It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. Damn. So there's a serpent here. Tell me more about the creature. It's been burrowing under the tunnels, been, or it's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just beneath the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls, so if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should it catch sight of you, well, you should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. Okay. I wonder if we could purchase explosives. Uh, that might be pretty useful to us here. He said his brother was at Ingfil, right? I wonder if we could just speak to his brother. Let's try. Let's give it a shot. Uh, oh, retired whaler? What is it? I heard you used to make explosives. Hey, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'd have a use for some explosives. Alright, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Anything else? Okay, shipwrecks. Uh, settlement at Gale Cliffs. Okay. Okay, so that's he's talking about the one his brother's at. And then... So I need the explosives, but I need him to make me the explosives. Ugh. Used to be a whaling town. Whales got scarce. I wonder how we can get him to make the explosives for us, though. It seems like he's not very keen on doing so. <laughs> well, it's fine. We can, I think, first focus on upgrading our ship, right? So let's just keep selling the fish here. And maybe we can catch some of the uh, tiger mackerel, too. Oh, here we go. Some specialty salmon. I think it'll be good just to farm these. They're fast to farm, and they also give us quite a bit of money. Ooh, oh, decaying black mouth. A shimmering blackness permeates the flesh. Oh, I'm sure she'll purchase it. Uh, seems to be some more fish here. What is this? Oh, still more salmon. Is that the only thing they have around here? Salmon? <laughs> they gotta have some sort of other fish, right? Well, I mean, I can't be one to complain. Money is money, and we'll do what we need to do. Uh, fish market... $140, we'll take that. 288, hey, we're gonna get there in no time. I see a couple more. Ooh, ooh, these ones are new. Oh, is this a shipwreck? Oh, it's a dredge area. I thought this was a uh, fishing spot. What is this? Research part, nice. Well, that's all that was. Let's, honestly, I think we should do some research. Volcanic. I was low-key thinking about maybe getting a new upgrade. I don't think we need nets. I don't really have a use for them, but these ones look pretty good. The jet engines. Uh, I think if we could stack these, they'd be pretty nice. And then of course we have a couple more upgrades here too, but twin prop engine, just something to work for. I think I'm gonna keep saving my research parts though, just until I have uh, an actual necessary use for them, yeah. So, oh. Need help with anything? Wait, what'd she say again? Oh, oh my god. More fish to catch, okay. Tell me about the gulper eels. They did want one of those. Calm water, shelter of gale cliffs, and then tiger fish. Ooh, swampy murky waters. Oh lord and then primordial feel to them. So I think once we get the $500, we can start going out and fulfilling some of those other orders. Oh, rock crab. That's a new one. Couple new crab added to the encyclopedia. Uh, might as well just sell them off real quick, right? 20 bucks. I think I actually want to... Ooh, fish. Oh, this one's tough to catch. It's a wreck fish. You think they hover around the wrecks? Would make sense. We can only for, uh, catch two of these though. So we are gonna have to go back and sell. I'm, I wonder how much they sell for. Ooh, two for a hundred dollars. Wait, we're, we're making bank. We're making so much money. And then more of the salmon here. Might as well, we'll get this upgrade soon. Keep going around the coastline. I see another fish there. Ooh, that's that one's new, that one's new. This must be the salmon, or sorry, the, the mackerel, right? Actually. I don't know what that is. Sturgeon. I don't think I've seen anyone need this yet, but we'll keep it on board. Pull a sturgeon. Dude, they are, they are like actually Tetris pieces. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and then I think we can only afford one more. Ooh, 
That must be, that's the fish. That's the fish. I know it. I recognize the shape. Yes. There it is. Tiger mackerel. That's what they needed. Honestly, what if we just made haste back to the island? It's over here, right? We'll do commission there. Yeah, I'll just go sell these. Let's sell this fish here. It's 400. This is, this is more than enough. Yes. Ooh, we got a book. W. Catch the rare fish. And then pressed. Okay. Let's take this one back to him. Uh, but in the meantime, let us... The new hole. Yes. Whew. How big is this new hole? Wait, what did we even get? Oh, I guess a couple extra space. Yeah. Okay. And then I think we could also go for some more upgrades now. Yeah. Cargo spaces. That's pretty good. Rod spaces and then engine space. I think the cargo space is going to be what's most useful for us right now. So we might as well do, at least put the stuff in there. We've been we've been dredging quite a bit too, so we have the resources. Yeah, just uh, more space to hold stuff. So shall we deliver this mackerel? Oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. Sunset's soon. Okay, you know what? We should just keep fishing first, yeah? Maybe we can find an eel as well. I believe the eels are... Yes, they are shallow near the gale cliffs. Oh, new fish. Oh, it's a perch. Ocean perch. Wait, I'm confused on what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, is it just that? <laughs> and then I see a, another group of fish here. Whoa, stone fish. Just keep fishing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Enthralled stonefish. Ew, look at this thing's tongue. Okay, we'll rest for the night here. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's stale. Whatever, he doesn't need. He doesn't need a fresh mackerel. It's okay. Got a reading bonus. A fish market. $140. Not too shabby. And then I grab this back. All right, let's make haste towards the uh, island here. Also a new fish that I want to try catching on the way. I wonder if there's more things around this island too. Honestly, I can catch a shark. <laughs> we have room. Look at that. Oof. We won't endanger them though, I'll leave enough. Keeping the tiger mackerel? Yeah, the other dude should be right here. Here is your tiger mackerel. They rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart and consumed it as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. What is this? A snake mackerel? What the? Dude, where can I find that? Oh, man. Stel stellar Basin? Okay. Looks like we won't be able to do that for some time, but we still need to get all of these things. And then as well as a conger eel. We have our work cut out for us. Oh, what is this? Is this the right eel? Oh, it's a gray eel. Lame. Come on, there's gotta be... No, we don't need stingray. Are there any other settlements around? Doesn't look like it. That might be a little difficult for us, but it'll be fine, I think. We can set out bright and early in the morning and make our way around the islands, hopefully catch some fish. Ooh, I see some special stonefish there. Oh, and there's a dredging spot too. Oh my god, I almost ran into that tornado. <laughs> Oh god, gelatinous stonefish, whatever the heck that means. And then dredge area. This seems to be the metal scrap. This seems to be the metal scrap. Nice, uh, we can only hold one of those, so it's fine. Hopefully our fish doesn't go stale here. Right and early the next morning. Oh, what is this? That thing's crazy. I'm just like earning money. We're hustling out here. <laughs> We're actually hustling. And then let's do it. Let's head out. Let's see, which way should we head? I'm going to go through here. Let's see what's in here. I wonder what kind of fish these are. Oceanic perch. It's not one of the ones we need. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yo. Yo! Yo! What is that? Oh! Oh, it's still coming! Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, it's chasing me so far! Oh, 
Oh, man. That is a big fish. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> um, does that mean we can't go in there? Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. So there's this giant serpent lurking around there. Man, so what am I supposed to do? I have to kill the ser serpent first or something? <laughs> Another dredging spot. So I don't think I can take any more back. Dude, I have so much scrap. <laughs> I am a I'm a scrap collector. We definitely have to go look for some of the other fish though, so let's go do that. We need to catch or we need to get a conger eel. I'm assuming those are gonna be in the shallows here, this one. Uh, they come out at nighttime. Oh, uh, I do want to maybe get some of the other ones though. So an oarfish, gulper eel, goliath, tigerfish. Where the heck can I find those? It's gotta be around the island somewhere, right? Maybe on the other side. What type of fish is this? Ooh, it's a dredge spot. I keep getting distracted by the dredging. It's the name of the game though, you know what I mean? More of, what is this? Ooh, I do need this, actually. Okay, and then we should honestly mark this dredge area. There's a lot of stuff here. That will be our symbol for dredging. And then I want to take a loop around the island, too. We're looking for some of these other fish that could possibly be around here. Stonefish? Oh, what's this? An altar breaks through the waves at the base of the cliff. Three crab-like creatures are carved into it. Oh my god, wait, crabs? I need crabs? The largest is covered in rocks and other strange shapes. Oh! Okay, we need three crabs. Okay, I should mark this too. There is an altar here. Stonefish, dredge? Wait, what kind of dredge is that? I don't think I've seen this before. Whoa, what is this? Explosives? <laughs> oh, it's a research part. Oopsies. It's getting rather dark. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it around. There is something here though. No stones. Oh, I see. Uh oh, I hear something. Uh oh. Uh oh. We should uh, really make it back. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. This is not good. Oh, we're almost there. Actually, no, we're not we're really far. on the other side come on just on the other side okay land ho all right we made it oh my god <laughs> that's actually such a freaky feeling bro so i haven't been able to locate any of these other fish though maybe i'll talk to her again shelter of gale cliff so it's gonna be somewhere inside there but we can't do that until we kill the serpent right can't catch a snake mackerel can't get the relic because it's locked behind the explosives so we need a conger eel right <laughs> but where can i find the conger eel it says shallow oh nighttime right oh my god how am i gonna look for them though okay whatever don't need that. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Oh my god, this is fast. Uh oh. Oh! No, I can't dredge it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, so. So, <laughs> what are we, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, another bottle. Oh my gosh, another dredge spot. Ooh. What is this? Don't need that either. Is he still coming? 
Oh, he's gone. Man, it's so hard with that freaking giant cyclops fish tracking us down the whole time. All right, I know what we can do now, though. We can look for the eels because it's nighttime. I, where could these eels be? In the caves, you think? But then we'd actually have to take that serpent out. Otherwise, there's no way we're getting over there. Maybe we should talk to the uh, whaler guy again, see if we can get some explosives from him. He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> you think that was the family crest? Oh my god. Wait, I just had a revelation. What if what if that was the family crest? That thing that we were uh, trying to fish up before the stupid eel came? What if that was it? It was gold. Does anyone remember where that was? I think it was on the other side, right? We'll set out bright and early. Yeah, we gotta be quick then. Sturgeon. Okay, you know what? It's money. It's free money. I might as well. Ill translucent sturgeon. What in the Tetris block is this? Is he coming? I think he's coming. Please leave me alone. Okay, 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 okay. Fish market. Ooh, $100. We'll go over to the other side since it'll be faster for us to get in there. And I think it's gonna be in here. Maybe the other side was faster, I don't know. Well, only one thing we can do. Okay, entrance should be somewhere around here. Oh, this, we could go here. I think I'm gonna go on the other side though. Oh, is that a dock? What is this? Wait, there's a dock here. A campsite? Oh! <gasps> Ooh, nice. So that means we could we could we could camp here, yeah? Okay, no footprints here either. And nothing in the tent. Okay. So this is a kind of a safe spot for us then. And then here we go. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna have to be fast. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh, where'd the serpent go? It's not even here. Is he? <laughs> Uh-oh. I lied. Leave! Go! Oh, he's gone. Nice! We got it. We took a couple hits of damage, but we did get it. So let's head back. We can repair our ship and then give this crest back so we can move the brother back to the... Where am I? Oh god, we're so far. Okay, it's time for a little shortcut. Nothing a little serpent is gonna do to us, right? Okay, nice. Oh, yes, and we got it. Nice. That's exactly what we needed. So we, we can do actually a bunch of... Oh, we got two at the same day? Actually, a ton of progression for us here. This will be good. This will be good. Okay, so these are things we'll need for tomorrow here. This and that. And then everything else should be good. So give this crest back to the dude, yeah? My man, guess what we have? My hermit. Is this your family crest? You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him, tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. I got you, man. I still have yet to find the conger eel. <laughs> what is it? I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. Hmm. So he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seems particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. So you need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. Okay, nice. Here we go. Here we go. This is, this is how it works. This is how we get there. Also, what yellow flags is this talking about? Oh, that... That must be it. All right, who's ready to s boom boom time? Set off some explosives. 
Uh, oh! Okay, we're gonna have to do a bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh my god, he's right behind me. Okay, don't mind me. Yes! Oh, boom! Nice, shortcut. Uh-oh, where am I? Wait, I can't get out there. I think the left would be best. Okay, we can do something else though here. So I believe the shrine is here. And you know what we have? The final piece. All three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unseen power commands their corpses into action. Crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks. Suddenly the stone... Mouth of the deep? Oh, what is this? Is it a net? It's a net. Some real progress here, some real progress. Do we even need to install this? I mean, I guess I'll just storage it to be honest. Uh, we wanted this, $300, yes. Great upgrade, great upgrade. And then we'll put some of the other stuff here too. Nice. Oh, we're getting all the upgrades. Whew, wait, we're crazy. Look at this. Okay, we can afford a couple new things now. I mean, technically one more research part and we'll have enough to get whatever this contraption is. So I think this will be my next importance, right? We have heat resistant line as well, plus 55 speed. I guess this engine is okay if we do want to really maximize speed, but not really necessary. I do want that though. You know what, fine. I'm using it here. Versatile rod, 82% speed. This thing's big. Okay, one more and we can afford it. It'll go here. And we could probably put another rod on the other side. And then a new hole. Oh God, not the refined metal. <laughs> no. Dude, it's gonna take a thousand dollars of refined metal. If she even sells it, that is. I don't even know if she does. Oh, 450. Not bad, not bad. That's a, uh, that's a discount if I've ever seen one. And then we could also buy this piece as well here. Before we do any of that stuff, I think our first priority is going to be continuing our quest. Okay, um, here it is. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Hey, it's a family reunion. All right, hermit. Come with me. Your brother forgives you. He found He's found you a place to stay. He does. That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remember it was there. <laughs> right. Well, I'm packed and ready to go. Come with me, sir. All right. Let's take him back. Okay. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Oh. Little brother, you're home. I, I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and then turns back to you. Oh, stranger, if you need any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Whew! There we go. Packed explosives. There it is. I hope you can put them to good use wherever you find cause for it. Oh my god. And then I could buy a bunch more too. Okay. Well, I think the first thing that we're going to do with this is obviously blow up this area and get the thing that we have to take to uh, the collector. Here we go. Boom. And I believe this is it. Well, not this actually, but the next thing we clear. Nice. And there we go. Relic. That's what we need. Return to the collector. Not a shabby day if I say so myself. And then of course there's a couple more areas we could blow up, but yeah, we've pretty much done it. I've yet to actually find any of these, but I'm assuming they're going to be inside the cliffs. Hopefully uh, we can work on that. But in the meantime, let me just take this put it into storage. We'll take it to the collector the next time we see him. And I think this is a, uh, a good spot to leave off. We have managed to successfully reclaim the second relic. And I'll probably just grind off stream a little bit just to get our boat upgraded, maybe unlock a few other areas inside here, do the quests. But I think 
in terms of the main storyline is pretty much it. So if you have enjoyed this second episode of Dredge, please do let me know. Thank you guys for watching the second episode of Dredge. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am so far. I think the lore, the story behind it is obviously very, very interesting uh, to play along with. And I can't wait to see what the next area that we have to discover holds in store for us. So if you did enjoy the content, please do consider liking the video, subscribing, and joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv tv forward slash Anthony Chen and I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the content so take care have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time goodbye